The laser trace indicates a minor deviation in the secondary layer. I see it. It's minimal, but we should document it according to the F-16 specifications. The tolerances on the starboard side are tight. Confirmed. Let's check the schematics again before we lock the panel. Make sure that's set to the correct tolerance. Already checked. Applying final torque now. Alignment on mounting point four is confirmed. Reading at 99.98% accuracy. Finalizing scan. Excellent. Proceed to detachment. Alignment looks good on my side. Verify docking sequence. Sequence verified. Proceed. Bring it down five millimeters. Copy that. Watching the load cells. Clear on the starboard side. We need another micro adjustment on the starboard side. Adjusting the jig now. The lasers are converging. Perfect, we have alignment. Check the gap alignment on station four. Reading nominal. 
Proceed with the final torque specification. That's the last one, secure. Noted, bay frame integration complete. Alignment looks good on the starboard side. Confirmed. Engaging clamps sequence Delta-9. Torque is good on these three. Checked. The next one goes here. Watch the alignment. Alignment confirmed. Applying final torque sequence now. And locked. Easy on the left side. Copy that, watching the seam here. We need to verify the torque settings on the high pressure turbine. The tolerances are tight. Double check the manual. Hold the position steady. Copy that. Slight adjustment to the left. Watch the clearance on level three. Check that specific blade near the shaft. Got it. Magnification confirms it's within limits. All right, steady descent, three more inches to go. Copy that, steady as she goes. Ensure the bypass is secured before we lift. Torque wrench engaged. Pressure holding steady. Watch your spacing on the starboard side. We are clear for final approach. Easy now. Easy now. The strain gauge on section four is showing an anomaly. Confirmed. Log that and continue the sequence. The schematic shows this running parallel to the gray conduit. Okay, I have it secured at the P-clamp. Torque is set. Pressure confirmed. Hydraulic line secured. All bolts torqued to spec. Verification complete. Right here, the temperature is spiking unexpectedly. I see it. Let's reduce the input and check the pressure differential again. The separation point is clearly visible at 30 degrees. Yes, the vortex shedding is consistent with the model. Let's record that.
The readout is stabilizing. Finalizing the adjustment. Green light confirmed. Actuator travel is stable at 99.8%. Acknowledged. The retraction cycle looks clean. Position check, Bay 4. Solid green, trajectory holding. Clear to proceed. The sensor readings are fluctuating outside the parameters. Reroute it through the secondary controller and retest. Watch the yellow bundle on the left. Okay, clear. Moving the panel now. Bay door clear. Confirmed on the diagnostic panel. Power levels are nominal. Module ready for insertion. Okay, push it through slowly. Mind the bend at frame 45. Got it. Secure the clamp now? Yes, torque it to specifications. I'm showing 45.25 here. Confirmed. That's within the acceptable range. Alignment looks good. Secure the conduit. Conduit secured. Running diagnostics now. Confirmed. All parameters nominal. Final torque applied. Check the readout. Running sequence. Signal synchronized. We are fully mission capable. Cross-referencing the fuel flow regulator on channel 3. Confirmed. Diagnostics are nominal across the board. Push the update. Reviewing avionics readiness checklist. All parameters nominal. System go for flight. Bring it down slowly. Watch the clearance on the inboard side. Steady. Looks aligned. Applying final torque. Connection secure. Indicator is green.
easy on the lift. Watch the stabilizer. Got it. Got it. Clear on the left. Hard point secure. Check the forward attach point. Torquing now. Three clicks. We have a positive track on the incoming. Integrate the missile trajectory immediately. Acknowledged. Firing solution is locked. Driver, easy left, coming up on the hold short line. The gap on panel 42 is reading five thousandths over tolerance. Rerun the bore scope on the avionics vent, check for obstructions. And that should be everything. Perfect. Congratulations on the successful flight.